Since 1964, the Mustang has been the longest produced Ford. And this one is a beauty. Let's find out why. Richard, this really is a beautiful car. It's gleaming in the sunshine. It's a full nuts and bolts restoration. Tell us about it. It's completely stripped back to a bare shell and uh, started again, really. My uncle, who's a restoration specialist and painter, um, he done all the work on the car for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's just come out perfect. Um, and you took it to a show the following week, and what happened? I did, I took it to Battlewoods Bridge, the last show they've done there, and she won Best American Car in show. I have a lot of lovely cars as well there, so I'm well chuffed for that. Hey, just talk about this paint, what's it called? Uh, it's called Mazda Soul Red. Yep. Um, it's, it's like a candy style base, um, so it's a silver base coat and then it's a translucent red built up over the top with layers to get how dark you want the car. Yeah. And then there's a few drops of silver paint in the lacquer to uh, give it that sort of metallic, but when the mm. sun hits it, it makes it sparkle. And then obviously it changes in colour. Yeah, if, on the, if light. the sun's off it, it, that disappears and it, it looks a lot darker. Yeah, you've got these fabulous wheels, tell us about those. Yeah, they're um, American Racing Mag, 17 inch wheels, um, Michelin Primacy 4, 225, 17 inch tyres. Um, when I was a kid I sort of loved the Hot Wheels cars with the red band tyres. Yeah, the badging on the car, um, the chrome and everything looks absolutely amazing, but you had to get that sorted didn't you, because it was a bit pitted? Yeah, the, right. the, the side windows are all original, um, yep. but they were a bit pitted, so I had all them re um, right. But all the actual like window trims and badging, uh, grill and everything, it's all brand new parts, but being pattern parts, they can be difficult to fit. You yeah. have to make them fit, and um, they're never perfect how they would have been out of the factory back in the 60s. But yeah, yeah but yeah, no, they, they come out really nice. Yeah, let's have a look under the hood, can we? Yeah, of course. Wow, that's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tell us about that, what's going on in here? Uh, well, basically, the engine bay on the car when I got it was a bit of a mess. It was dirty. Out of the factory, they're like a satin black. Uh, the wires are sort of everywhere, and it just looks a bit of a mess. Um, it's the original engine block for the car, numbers right. matching. Uh, we put like uh, upgraded, sort of modern aluminum heads on it, yep. so I can use modern fuels. Uh, it's got a March Performance pulley kit and power steering pump, single wire alternator. And we just wanted to eradicate all the clutter out the engine bay. So normally you'd have like your washer bag there, yep. and there'd be power steering hoses bolted. So we wanted it as clean as possible. It's very clean, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. So yep. like, the washer bottle is now hidden up under the wing. And my uncle's friend, AD, he, he came in and wired the car, and he done it such a good job of it. Where everything's hidden, sort of up under here and sheathing, and it's, yeah. it's, it's just beautiful. Makes it look really nice and clean. He's clearly very good at his job. <laughs> he is, yeah. He's done a fantastic yeah. job. Yeah. This is great, isn't it? Yeah, the one yeah, piece, like uh, one export piece brace. Around. Yeah, brace. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a two eighty nine cubic inch, uh, which is four point seven liter. Should we put this down? And have a look in the boot, shall yeah. we? Because I believe you've got something rather special in there for I do. Why not become part of our classic car community? 
and subscribe to the channel. So what do we have here? This is what they call the Marty Report. Um, it's basically the, like the birth certificate of the vehicle. Um, there's a company in, in America called Marty Auto Works and they have all the history of every fold from 1967 onwards. So you can request it, you get a, a copy of your, your door data tag. Uh, it was $3,541.23. Um, and, and the build sheet, so it tells you the date the car was built, which was 27th of December. 66 three days ahead of schedule and it also tells you how many mustangs in 1967 were built how many were a two-door hardtop and how many came with this engine so it, and it all goes down to this is like a, a one of two cars built um so two were ordered with am radios with all the other options uh, and then it went to a dealership town and country motors on Rosita boulevard in california and then it tells you what date it was released from the factory and what date it was sold on the dealership. Some people love to have that sort of info on their car. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to have with it. Brilliant. The interior is, is stunning as well. These seats are beautiful, aren't they? Um, these would have looked like this back in 67. Uh, yeah, the original style seats for the car. Um, so before they were like saddle brown, but they were tired, so I had to have all new. Uh, like foam and all new covers and had them all redone. Yeah. Um, same with the back seat. Uh, but yeah, they are original style 67 bucket seats for the car. Yeah. And you've got the Mustang logos there on the carpets that look really good, don't they? Yeah, it just sort of breaks it up a little bit. The steering wheel would have been plastic before, is that right? Yeah, it's like a plastic, it had got a big horn button in the middle. Yeah. It's only a one year steering wheel on the 67, they changed it for the 68. Um, but I wanted to go with the more 60s style Shelby type wooden wheel. Yeah. Just to give it that, that look. I think it just looks so oh, much better great. than the original. Yeah. And it, it works really well with the, as you talked about the flow earlier, it just breaks up that flow it maybe does. a bit with having a wood wheel like that. It looks great. I yeah. Think. There's a lot of different wheels you could get, but I just, I like the thickness of it. Yeah. And I like the control of the car with it. Tell us about these doors. Yeah, like from the factory there, they were sort of the same colour as the, what the interior would have been, so like a sadly brown colour, um, yeah. and they had like a grain finish on them. Um, but again, my uncle's idea, he said about smoothing them out, same with the back panels, paint them the same colour as the car, so when you look in, it flows around along with the, the bottom of the dashboard, so it all sort of flows, yeah, stand out from the special, rest really, absolutely. yeah, make yeah. it more unique. Richard's love of the Mustang can also be seen within his tattoos. Thank you, Richard. It's been great seeing the Mustang much, today. Now, you. there's a reason why he didn't get 100 out of 100, why it was only 99. He's one point short. That's because he didn't subscribe to the channel, but you have now, haven't you? I certainly have, yeah. You see, you've got to watch that. You've got to make sure you subscribe. But if you've got a Mustang that can better this one, I don't believe you can, to be honest with you, or you bought one new, or you're restoring one, yeah. please show us the pictures, send us your information, leave a comment in the link below. But for now, you've been watching Down at the Barns, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go, Richard.